Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of vectors. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that there are three vectors A, B, C. So vector A, it is given to us as I plus J plus 2K. The second vector B, that is given to us as 2I minus 3J plus K. And the third vector C, that is given to us as I minus J plus K. So we have been given these three vectors and the question further tells us V bar, that's a vector in the plane of A bar and B bar. So the vector V bar is in the plane of A bar and B bar and the question tells us the projection of that on C bar is equal to 2 over root 3. And further the question tells us if the dot product of vector V and J cap it is 7 then the question is asking us to figure out the value of the vector V bar with the dot product of I plus K. So we have to figure out the answer for this question. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, the options are 6, 7, 8, and 9. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. Let's figure out how to solve this question further. So first thing, before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. Let's see how to solve this question further. So if I have been given one idea that tells me that V bar which is a vector it is in the plane of A bar and B bar. So when it is in the plane of A bar and B bar I can just write my vector V as a constant let's say lambda 1 into vector A plus another constant lambda 2 into vector b. So we have been given vector v in this form as a scalar multiple of a and v, b vector and I can say then then my constants which are there lambda 1 and lambda 2 they belong to any real number possible. Further the question if I solve it I get it lambda 1 vector a that is given to me as i plus j plus 2k plus lambda 2 vector b here if i see it is 2i minus 3j plus k so we have this now further if i try to solve this vectors i have lambda 1 plus 2 lambda 2 that's with i cap then you have lambda 1 minus 3 lambda 2 with j cap and for k cap we have your 2 lambda 1 plus lambda. So we have this entire vector v. Now once I have this entire vector v bar which is given to us further the question tells us that the projection of v bar on c bar is 2 over root 3. So if I use the idea of projection we know if I have been given that there is a projection of let's say a on b i can just write that as dot product of a bar and b bar divided by magnitude of the vector v so if i have been given in this question that says projection of v bar on c bar and that is given to us as 2 over root 3 so i have the understanding now that says that the dot product of v bar and c bar i have to figure out and I have to divide it by magnitude of vector C. And that is equal to 2 over 3. So if I see my dot product of V bar and C bar, if I'm trying to figure out the vector C, it is given to me as I minus J plus K. So once I have that with me, I just find the dot product of the two vectors. And if I'm figuring, figuring out the dot product of the two vectors, I know. If I'm doing the dot product, I just need to multiply the coefficients of the respective vectors. So lambda 1 plus 2 lambda 2, I'm multiplying with 1. Then 
lambda 1 minus 3 lambda 2 I am multiplying that with minus 1 the last one 2 lambda 1 plus lambda 2 I am multiplying that with 1 again so I have this dot product with me now once I have this dot product with me I have the dot product lambda 1 plus 2 lambda 2 minus lambda 1 plus 3 lambda 2 and plus 2 lambda 1 plus lambda 2 divided by magnitude of vector c so magnitude of vector c if i'm figuring out it is square root of coefficients of the respective vectors i j k so that is one square plus minus one square plus one square is equals to two over root three so if i figure out this idea now lambda one minus lambda one that is zero so you are left with two lambda one and if i see the next part it is two lambda two plus three lambda two plus lambda two so since that is six lambda two so two lambda one plus six lambda two divided by square root of one square plus one square plus one square that is nothing but square root of three which is equals to 2 times divided by root 3. So here I get this root 3 and root 3 cancel. And from here I get 2 lambda 1 plus 6 lambda 2 is equals to 2. Taking 2 common I get lambda 1 plus 3 lambda 2 equals 2. So from here I get lambda 1 plus 3 lambda 2 equals 1. I have one equation with me now in the terms of lambda 1 and lambda 2. And there is one more condition given to us that says dot product of vector v with j cap is 7. So if I see, I have vector v with me. Let's see. So vector v, it was given to me as yeah, lambda 1 plus 2 lambda 2 i then the j part was lambda 1 minus 3 lambda 2 j And the last part of that vector was 2 lambda 1 plus lambda 2 into k. So once I have this vector v with me, it's told to me that the dot product of this vector with j cap is equals to 7. So once I have that, the dot product of this with vector with this j cap, only if I'm taking the dot product, I just need to multiply the coefficients of j cap because i and k in this case is going to be 0 and that when multiplied with this coefficient will turn out 0. So I have lambda 1 minus 3 lambda 2 into 1 is equal to 7. So from here I get lambda 1 minus 3 lambda 2 equals 7. So I get this equation 2. This is your equation 1. So once I have both of these equations I will just solve them. So I get from this lambda 1 plus 3 lambda 2 is 1. And the second equation, lambda 1 minus 3 lambda 2 equals to 7. So if I add the two equations, as it is, this gets cancelled. You get 2 lambda 1 is 8. And from there, I get lambda 1 is 4. Once I have lambda 1 with me, I'll just put that in the equation. So if I have that 4 plus 3 lambda 2, equals 1 so lambda 2 equals 1 minus 4 which is minus 3 with 3 and lambda 2 in this case would make it minus 3 divided by 3 which is minus 4. so we have in this case lambda 1 which is 4 and lambda 2 which is minus 1 once i have both of them the question let's see what is asking it's asking for vector v with the dot product of i plus k so let's figure out that so if i put i know already the values of lambda 1 and 2 so lambda 1 is 4 and lambda 2 is minus 1. So if I put in this vector, let's see. So 4 plus 2 into minus 1. So that is minus 2 i. 4 minus 3 into minus 1 with j and 2 into 4 plus minus 1 into k. So from here, I get my vector v as 4 minus 2 which is 2i, 4 plus 3 which is 7j, 
and 8 minus 1, which is 7k. So we have our vector v. Now, once I have my vector v, the question is asking me to figure out the dot product of that with i plus k. So vector v with the dot product of i plus k, let's figure out that what do we get. So vector v, I know already 2i plus 7j plus 7k. And if I am figuring out the dot product of that with i plus k, so 2i into dot product of i, that gives you 2, plus 7 into here, it is 0, so 0, and 7 into 1, which is 7. So I get from here 2 plus 7, which is basically 9, and I get the dot product of this question asked that matches with which option? That is so I get the correct answer for the question and that matches with option D. So D becomes a correct answer here for the question that is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also. If you're enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.